Yo, yo, yo. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Wingate TV. I am here with Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, y'all might be thinking, why is he playing this? Like, why? What is this? Well, this is a game that is all I'm gonna say about it is it's it's very interesting. Why? We're gonna find out. I know that this game requires, you know, all too much dialogue, so I got some water here. So whenever I feel tired my my throat, I'm gonna get parched, I can get some of that. Let's go. Name? You know my name is Sean. SW1. You know, but I'm put Sean, my real name. <sighs> okay. Oh, uh, question mark. I don't know who this is. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw for herself. I can already see what this is going to be like. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it kind of just works out because you've known each other so long. Yeah, I, I had that kind of, I had that kind of friend. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But, if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better just running away. <laughs> That's messed up. However, I just sighed idle in front of the fourth floor and let Sayori catch up to me. Oh, this is what she looked like? <laughs> oh, I slept again. I like that voice. But I caught you this time. Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Man, you said that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Sean. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if you don't want to. Whatever you say, son. Well, he... My character does not seem like he don't like her at all, but he's just being a friend just because, I don't know, make her happy. That's messed up. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students, making their daily commute. By the way, Sean, have you decided on a club to join yet? I don't do clubs, so I don't know. A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? Oh, maybe I did. I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content on just getting by on the average while spending my free time with games and anime, as I do right now. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried you don't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I died of thought of you becoming a neat. What's a neat? in a few years because they're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. I mean, I didn't ask you to worry about me. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs and make you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured? By such a carefree girl. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to clubs. Sarah wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? 
Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only rest of the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... You know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm joining... I'm going to your club. Yeah, me? Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Well, I kind of told the club yesterday that I'll bring in a new member. She sold me out already. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> I can't tell if she was really that much of an airhead. Though so she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I think she planned this out. Like, there's no way you just... Yeah, I just told them that just because. I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! Why did I get myself trapped into this? And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Whoa now, I don't do selling my soul. I don't do that. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you. Don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Richter Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Oh, I like her. Purple hair. She already always says nice things about me. Seriously? You want a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, sure. What a nice surprise. Do I know you? Welcome to the club. Yeah, look, look, he, he says nothing because, like, do we know you? All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. I ain't gonna lie, they all cute, but I don't know any of y'all. What are you looking at? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say that it's nothing. If you want to say something, say it. Oh, sorry. That's so key. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, who names apparently not Suki, is the one I don't recognize. Oh, so I know them too? Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. I could just ignore her when she gets greedy. Sayori says that quietly to my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is not Suki. Always full of energy. Doesn't look like right right now. She looks very angry, like like she don't like boys or something. Like, come on. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Looks like the tallest too. Don't say things like that. You don't want to be called the smartest. You feel offended. Yuri, who appears apparently more mature and timid. Seem to have a hard time coming up with people like Sayori and Masuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know, oh, that's her. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Sean. So I guess I do know her. Monica smiles sweetly. She gave me that, she gave me that flirting smile. So that, um, I'm down with that. We do know each other. Well, we really talk, but we're in the same class fashion. Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. <laughs> yeah, I would say that. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little weird. You, you, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Sean. You make room for you at the table so you can sit. Next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them, so I'll get them. Okay, okay, dang. Dang. Sorry. I got a little too excited. Then, how about I make some tea as well? 
the girls have best arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the classroom, where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. I couldn't shoot in my seat? Damn. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Now she looks all happy. <laughs> I think that's how you say that. Masuki lifts the photo off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Masuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sari grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Sari talks to her mouth food and we've already managed to get ice on her face. Come on, klutz! Come on! Wipe your face! I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best only to take a bite. Nasuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Are you waiting for me to eat it? Don't worry, girl, I'm gonna eat it. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Yeah, she is. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Nasuki. What? Why are you thinking? It's not like I... What? Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Well, I mean, I didn't say you did. You probably just gave me an answer and saying you did make them for me. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said, Well, maybe. Gosh. But not for you. You know, you, dummy. Listen, I feel offended by her calling me a dummy. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. Hey. I give up on my super good logic and dismiss the conversation. Yeah, because I don't know, that was going to get weird and weird. Yuri returns to the table, carrying the tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of us before setting down the teacup next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I don't do that much reading, but when I did read, I didn't really have a cup of tea with me. Ah. Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri, Yuri's just trying to impress you. Is all the girls really trying to impress me? No, they they so surprised that a boy came that they are impressing me. Huh? That's not look look at her face. She knows it's true. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that you know. I believe. You. Well, tea and reading may not be a past on me, but at least, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles for herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider a literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't enjoyed any clubs yet. And Sayori seemed really happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right out at home, okay? I hope you do. <laughs> oh. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How can you decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Oh, I need, I need some water. There's a lot of weed. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Haha. <laughs> oh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. 
And that same person probably was getting full church than I'm fulfilling that duty. Monica really is a great leader. Gary also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. Who could put it that way? Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the first school that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best! You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard just to find these people. Maybe that's why they're also delighted by a idea for these members. So I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Nah, I can't. So Sean, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, yeah, about that. I don't. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Masuki's head certainly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. Say it! Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I don't want that to change. I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are using novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Oh, okay. Sounds interesting. The level of creativity and craftsmanship yelling up is amazing to me. And telling it this story in such a form world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious the way her eyes look and she finds a comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped from that I could relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well have been having a conversation with a rock. <clears throat> I hate horror. Why is that? Well, I, I just... Masuki's eye got over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Masuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left the piece of scrap paper behind last phone meeting. It looked like you were working on a phone called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, I find... <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sally slides up behind my seat and puts her hands on her shoulders. Oh, well, okay. Get a little touchy, huh? I'm not cute! Nasuki, you write your own poems? Well, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Mazuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Masuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your reader, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have the writing experience too, Yuki? Yuri? Maybe you could share some of your work. You can set an example and help not see you feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, yeah, she doesn't look very comfy now. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Well, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a minute. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. We're all just for the same thing. Once we can do it, it's at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Says nothing. Yeah, let's do it. 
Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Sean? Monica smiles normally again. Yo, I, I don't know. Like, she, she might like me. She might. She keeps smiling normally at me. Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of joining the club, I'd love to come forth with it on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. See, I might have convinced me to stop by, but I never made my decision yet. I saw other club to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. Look at all, yo, you done just made them all sad. All the girls said that to me, check them out. I'm sorry, I thought, huh, sorry. I'm defenseless against these girls. Yeah, they're sad faces. I, I can't. How am I supposed to make a forehead decision when it's like this? Exactly. That is, like folks, fights I need to pay and hold respect, everything is beautiful girls. We are beautiful. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Yo, they all jumped up as soon as I said that. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sarah wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey, hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really came by for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to the to bring the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Sean, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Nah. I don't have that good. I'm not good. I already feel the anxiety growing up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as you and Nasa can clean up their food. Hey, Sean, since we're already here, you want to walk home together? That's right. Sierra and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for the club. Sure, might as well. Yay! I'm liking this so far. I'm liking this so far, actually. With that, the two of us depart the club and make our way home. The whole way, my mind runs back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Masuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day at the school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to go closer to one of these girls. I haven't decided which one I want to try to get close to first, but I'm, I have a feeling they're going to make me try to choose. Uh, all right. I just need to make most of my circumstances, and I'm sure a good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Yo, this this is gonna be a longer video than usual. But I I can't even stop right now. I can't even stop. Pick words you think your favorite poem may be like. Something good might happen that you love likes your poem the most. Y'all hear that? But who do I like the best though? I don't know. I like all of them. Can I write about all three of them? I'll try, because I haven't picked one yet. Um... Well, let's just say anime, because I like anime. Oh, now, see if you like that one. Um... Graveyard, would you already like that one? Yes. And... Let's see. Sayori, so, what? Precious? Good, yes, I'm doing good so far. Um, now I'm just, I know probably all the like frightening and the horror stuff is what Yuri would like. Beauty? Sayori? I mean, I didn't know what I thought so. Sugar, I think that's Natsuki. It is. Despise? Yeah, that's definitely her. Kiss. I don't know who likes this one, but I'm just putting it in there. Ooh, Natsuki. Um... Playground. That's her yet, yo. What if I end up picking her? And I didn't really like 
mean to. Awesome. That's her. Um, Dark is definitely... What? I thought that would have been... Oh, my gosh. Um, Fireflies. What the? Oh, no. I don't want... I don't want Sayori. That's my friend. The other girl. Depression. Oh, my gosh. No. Passion. Oh, my gosh. I'm picking more than I want to with her. Uncontrollable. Oh, that's... Okay. Kawhi. That's definitely yes. Maybe I might just pick now. Maybe. Marriage? Who likes marriage? Oh, yes. Whoa. Uh, lollipop. Yes. Yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to go for now. You know what? It seems like people probably picked Kyle already and Shay already is my friend. I don't want it to be more than that. I don't. Flower? Oh, my gosh. Pink? Yeah, that's definitely her because she's, she's pink. Cute. Yes. All right, now let's see. Okay, the first one I see is Monica. Hi again, Sean. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. This might be a little strange to you, but at least I kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Sean. I hope this is too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive head first into ritual and you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Yo, she... She is... I, I, now I, I'm starting to... Yeah. She's starting to grow on me a little bit because she, she, she pushing back a little bit. I like it. Sarah told me you didn't even want to join the club this year. Oh, join any club this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Masuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps on mind question in the club room. <laughs> yeah, you, we weren't supposed to know that, were we? Yeah, told your secrets. Masuki finds herself stuck to the same Monica and Monica. <laughs> Monica is that it's true. Swiftly defeated, Masuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Sean always gives his best as long as he's having fun. I do, I do actually. He helped me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Say on it, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. What the heck? How'd you set your house on fire? Come on, girl! Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous? Uh, oh, she wanna get closer to me. Maybe I should've picked her. How come? You and Sean can become good friends, too. Uh, um... Maybe she wants more than that. Say, say or me. I got no words. As usual, Sayori seems to look at the worst situation she just put me into. Oh, oh! You even brought you something today, you know? She did. Wait, wait, Sayori! Huh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Ne never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do, what do I do? What do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, you I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. <laughs> hey, 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 don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Jerry reaches to turn her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, you know what? Discuss it if you wanted. This, this is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? 
She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not even reading much? Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I am easy as you take the book. Phew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica, Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sierra and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already burned in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nasuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man, looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down to the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literally related by myself like this? I guess I could read some of the book that Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. Ah, no water, no water, no water. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening and sharing this conversation with Monica. We're probably going to see what's grand compared to all the other clubs though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of the literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks in the creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in first place at this literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the, do the thing to speak our creative minds. What's this? Sierra is taking this seriously. It's rare to hear to liberate like this. Huh? That's a good point. In that case, do you think food would be a trick? What, what kind? Uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Aha! Uh -huh. Good thinking. Nasuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Nasuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested? Cupcakes speak to my mind, oh, uh, to my creative tummy. <laughs> Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I found myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But they're in line with the expected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind on things and make it come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it'd be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh, whoa, 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 why are you so close to me? I didn't, whoa. I open my eyes and find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Like, yo, that's something I would do because, like, bro. I was closing my eyes and you just all my face when I was opening. I'm gonna fly in here, oh my god. Man, sorry. Wait! Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? This thing up for you to get are you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, say, oh. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. I didn't say it was a good thing. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this pack week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret! I knew it. So come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt! I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glanced around at herself. How is it written all over me? 
I didn't mean literally written all over you. You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is still sticking out all, all over here. Ah! I run my fingertip down the side of Sarah's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I'm not gonna fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't even straight either. I mean, it looks straight to me. And there's a toothpaste stain right on your collar here. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you mean? And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori? Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Yo, that, yo, I didn't even expect him to say that. That's super mean! Sorry, but you'll thank me later. <laughs> I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Ooh, oh, okay, okay. I'm a white dude, I didn't even realize that. Look at my hands. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well... I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh? Don't say that. Don't, don't, don't say that. You don't make me feel weird about it, stupid. Oh, you make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy with like this. Aren't you? Uh, I, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to, to close? I struggle to find to fully close the button outside of it. Ah! I struggle to fully close the button in her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever button it, you would have known it sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. That's probably why she doesn't button it, obviously. But what are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Oh, again? Okay. Okay, okay. Don't, don't say that out loud. Like, like, you don't need everybody hearing this. Anyway, you look much better now, so... Ah. Why does it feel so strange to see Sayori Blazer fucked up like that? But it's so stuffy. It's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbucked her blazer one more time. Really, nigga? You literally just did everything I just done. That's so much better. Sarah puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying like, why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he would he would even let you do things like this, and you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things like you're making me feel weird. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. <sighs> Jeez, man. Well, anyway, let's just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Well, if you focus on getting the on going to bed earlier, fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Oh, Michael suddenly calls out. It took you long enough, like, for oh, no water. Ah, that's nice. Why don't we share the poems you wrote now? Sean, I can't wait to eat yours. Um, yeah, I'm kind of timid because I don't know exactly what I wrote. Yeah, same. My tail doesn't sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I actually agreed to do something so embarrassing. 
I couldn't really find much information since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori Sarah, Sarah and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of blue sleep torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote her on the composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Nasuke and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Can I pick? Yes! Who should I show my poem to first? I gotta go with my girl that I'm trying to do right now. I told Nasuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair that I share mine with her first. She's quiet. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm quiet too. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Like, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Please, please tell me it's a good thing. Well, well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It's just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste? Do you want to get smacked? Yes, please smack me, bruh. I want you to smack me. I want to get smacked by you. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Yes, you do. Not that you'll like it. Let's see. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can see. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. <laughs> yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I do like it, though. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I won't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can really dishearten. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. I guess it went more to it than I, than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the young ones, youngest one here, did you? Oh, guess not. I decided to humor with her with that last comment. I really don't care how, every, how old everyone is, but if my suki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Especially since I'm trying to get, you know, with her, you know, or at least try to get closer to her. Uh, Monica, let me see, Monica was giving me that look. Uh, let's see, she's next. Hi, Sean. Having a good time so far? Yeah, actually. Yeah, good. Good to hear you. By the way, since you're doing everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the clubs, like new activities or things we could do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow. I'm more settled in, until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of, em it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Sean. We're all going bad today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we all going to get past me. Yeah, that is true. I had Monica on my phone. Mm hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Darn it! It's what I didn't want! That's why Natsuki did like a little more for Sayori. Gosh! Oh, I'm an idiot. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get from reading a poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Ha! <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like yo. But in any case, Sarah's writing has a kind of gentle feel to it. I can't tell I can tell that she likes feeling with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? You never know. The, the happiest people might be the saddest people. 
It's not like you have to worry about. It's not like you have to worry about testing him or anything. Ha <laughs> uh, But I am. Anyway, you want to read my poem now? No way. I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Yeah, I see. Well, let's read it. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See? The direction was sparkled. Spackled protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer aside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retainers already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realized now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out, and he on the other side was looking in. Yo, that goes hard, actually. If you think about it, that goes hard. So, what did you think? Hmm, it's very free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style's got pretty popular nowadays. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poem a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that. Like it's kind of coming on strong. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Thanks for listening. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to listen to these two poems and then I'll end the video. Um, Sayori, she said she would, she said that she might like this one, so I'm going to just give it to her first. Look at her face. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Sean! Huh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I am not a good writer at all. Honestly, had no idea what I'm even doing. Well... Maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure your opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? What? Well, I'm sure that's a part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Sean poem. And that makes it feel extra special. So basically, because I wrote it. Like, I can feel your feelings in it. Sally hugs the sheet against her chest. Oh my gosh. You're so weird, Sally. <laughs> now, nah, where's my phone too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Alright. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the mirror, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleep from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> Say all right. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be so mean. I still tried my best. Ah, yeah. I didn't mean to say it like it was a bad poem now. I didn't mean that. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made egg and toast. Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Oh, yeah. The next time, I won't forget. 
And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. All right, the only person left is Billy. All right, and then I'm, and then I'm done. Quiet. Hmm. Still quiet. Mary stirs at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh! Sorry! I forgot to start speaking. Well, um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not! I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad you're telling me. No, no! Did I just my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. Very yeah, birds are facing their hands. I couldn't help but notice it's been several minutes, but we really haven't got anywhere. It's fine. I didn't really notice, actually. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that you see typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I learned, I kind of want to pick up on it. I think the most notable thing I recognize in these writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up a writing style separate from the topic matter, and then they fit, form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the specialness are weakened. Once she already finds a train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stamina is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you could be blamed for. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do! I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Very small dreaming, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is actually kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost Under the Light. I like how the, mu the music changes. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time, the last to get replaced by the sickening of blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calms breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. These people have some deep, deep poems. I'm sorry to have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah, well I just don't read script very often. I actually think your hairline is actually pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I actually did like the poem. Even though it was short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Sean. Really? Because that's what it seemed like. I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did in a glance over it after all. But remember that poets also expect their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences for work. They should do more than tell us the story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining piece of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon be left with nothing. That's a lot more solid, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember, that it will be long before you pick up on these things too. You're right, I think I think you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. Okay, no. No, I'm done. No. I'm done. Yes, I'm done. This was this was actually longer than I expected. But I'm done. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.